Hey guys, Super Godzilla of Final Wars here, and today I'm going to be talking about my Dragon OC. Now, I'm not talking about my Night Fury OC, not yet at least. I'm talking about, well, my first Dragon OC. Now, just to keep in mind, I have been doing a few changes about him lately. Like, for example, I've been working on his redesign. I've been re redesigning him lately. The reason why is because, well, I just uh, thought that his old designs didn't look quite intimidating-ish. So, I decided to give him a redesign. Wondering who I want to talk about, I'm talking about the Lord of the Dragons himself, Omega Storm. That's right, Omega Storm. We are going to be talking about him. So, without further ado, let us begin. So, for starters, Omega Storm's parents His father is none other than Drogon from Game of Thrones. And his mother is a female dragon that I'm still working on at the moment. His grandfather is Smaug. So you could say he is you could say he's like the future king under the mountain. And when I mean he's the most deadliest dragon you would ever meet. I literally mean it. Remember back then I told you that he was like three times bigger than, than Smaug? Well, let's just say now he's 12 times bigger than Smaug. That's right. You thought I was not being serious about changing him a bit. No, I was being dead serious. He's 12 times bigger than Smaug now. You could say he's about sort of the same size as, like, half the size of Kingador's foot. Or leg, you could say. That's how big he is. And for his redesign, I decided to give him more of a Kingador 2019 slash Smaug look to him. With mixed in with a bit of the Game of Thrones dragon look, making him feel more of an in, like a more intimidating dragon. Making him like a dragon that you do not want to fight. You do not want to go near here. This is like the number one dragon you do not want to mess with. This is the number one drag that will straight up send you to the afterlife. This is the number one dragon that strikes fear to every living creature on the entire planet. This is the one and only dragon that does not care about anyone. Literally. He does not care about anyone. He does not give a crap about you. Like, you could say, oh yeah, he's a dragon and he can care about people. Well, yes. But it's only the people that are useful to him. Or, it's like a predator, but in a way. Like, you know how the predators won't attack people who are not a threat to them? Or show signs that they're carrying a weapon. That's basically the same thing with Omega Storm here. He won't attack anyone who is not a threat to him. If they're not carrying any weapons or show any signs that they are a threat to him, he won't attack. He'll just basically be like this. Oh, you're not carrying weapons. Okay, then I'll see you later, I guess. But if you are a threat to him and if you are carrying a weapon, he'll straight up send you to the afterlife. It will just take a split second for him to turn around and just bite you in half. Well, 
Omega Storm does not play around. He is literally the dragon that is literally the alpha of alpha dragons. He is the king of all dragon kings. He is, within a way, the god dragon. The dragon that will end your life. Rather you like it or not. Omega Storm Storm on the other he doesn't really like to fight people, especially humans, because he knows he can just instantly kill a human. To him they're just nothing but a weak little target to him. He would just flat out just like just do a small little kick. And to him, he'll just do like a small kick and just flat out kill you. And they'll not let you, it'll, it'll be more like him pushing you away. But still, Omega Storm? And, and I know what you're going to say. Is, since he's the son of Drogon, does that mean he obeys like Targaryens or stuff like that? No. He does not obey them. He's the number one dragon that does not care about Targaryens. Wondering why? I don't know. He just does not like them. To him, he just seems... To him, he sees the Targaryens as a weird enemy of the dragons. He sees them as people who want to become dragons, who want to make fun of them to show... Humans that they could be better than dragons. That's what, that's what Omega Storm sees in humans. Well, not in humans, in the Targaryens, in his eyes. Now, without further ado, let's go ahead and move on to his abilities. His abilities, most of them are very similar to King Ghidorah's abilities. Let's start with number one. His first ability is that he can control and create his own storms, just like King Ghidorah. And not just that, he can literally summon lightning from the ground. Omega Storms' armor is so thick and so tough that not even a Nightbeard's Plasma Blast can penetrate it. Outside and on the inside, it's all tough. And not that, he's immune to Plasma Blasts. He's fought Nightbeard's before. So therefore, he has years of experience. He knows how to handle them. So, if if you want to put Tuples up against Omega Storm, wish him good luck, because that will be the day that he will meet his last day and have his last battle. His second ability is that he can that he has regeneration abilities that are just like King Ghidorah. So even if somehow you manage to cut off a body part or something else like that of Mega of Omega Storm or leave an injury on him, he would just instantly regenerate it. His regeneration is just incredible. Like, when the first time he revealed this regeneration, I'm pretty sure, like, people have just been wondering. Well, people, people in Dragons have been wondering, where the heck did he got that ability? 
where did he got that ability? Where did he got the ability to basically regenerate and not just that, create his own storms and control them? Like, you could say this is the number one dragon that has the most insane abilities. Not only that, Omega Storm doesn't really like to show off his abilities that much. Because he knows that he could just flat out kill someone if he really wanted to. He knows that they are just going to be flat out jealous. He doesn't even need to know, need to see your face reaction. He can just tell by your body language and through your thoughts. He he can just read your mind. That's the other thing. He can read minds. So like even if you guys if you if you manage to like put Omega Storm up against the How to Train Dragon characters, you can just immediately read their minds Figure out where they are, and not only that, figure out what they're planning, and use their own battle tactic against them. So, within a way, fighting this dragon is just pointless. It's pointless because this dragon can not just know where you are, he can read your mind and figure out your your new plan or, or stuff like that. It's just flat out pointless. You're fighting a pointless fight that you're not even gonna win. Sometimes Omega Storm even has an atomic breath. That's right, he has an atomic breath. And it's very unknown how he got that ability. But this atomic breath of his is more like God's little ultimate atomic breath, where it just can cut through a mountain and like cut a mountain in half. The next ability of his is the fact that his fire breath is so hot that it can just turn a Ten or twenty one mile radius. Could just turn that entire area into a sea of lava in seconds. That is how hot that fire breath of his really is. It's basically hotter than the sun itself. This dragon literally has fire breath so hot it, it can basically turn a little lake into like nothing but a rock land. 